Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get user input in a text box, click a button to validate the input that's in the text box, and then print a message box to the screen to inform the user of the validation result. I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. So, we have literally got a blank Windows form application. Um, if you don't see a toolbox, you can go to view, and then you can click on toolbox and it will show you this toolbox. So firstly, we're going to drag in and drop a text box. We're going to resize it a bit to make it slightly longer. And then we're going to drag and drop a button. We're also going to change the size of this to make it a little bigger. Down here in the properties, we're going to go down and change the text of this button to say validate. Now, double click on this validate button. And the code for this Windows form has appeared. So, this function here is what is called when the Windows form is created. When we first run it in our program. We are going to put one line of code in here and it's going to be this.startPosition equals form.startPosition center screen. This is going to put our Windows form in the center of the screen to make it a bit more neat. We are going to make a quick length check. So, you can literally put in any validation function you have. This is going to work with all of my validation tutorials, but I'll do a length check to keep it simple. So, we're going to do private bool is input length valid, string input return input.length greater than or equal to 5. So, basically, if the length of the input is greater than or equal to 5 characters long, return true, otherwise return false. So, in this function called button1 underscore click, we're going to do some code. Firstly, we're going to do string user input equals textbox1.text. And you might be thinking, Max, what does that mean? Well, let's go back to our form design. We're going to click on our little text box. We're going to go up to the very top. And the name here is, it's, is the name of this object. So you can change this, but then make sure in here you get the name right because we want to reference the text box to get the text from it. And so we can do string user input equals textbox1.text to get the text from that text box into a string. Then we're going to do an if statement. We're going to do if is input length valid user input. So we're going to be calling our function we made here in an if statement. So by default, we're going to check if this function is true. If it's true, we're going to spawn a message box and it's going to say valid input to let the user know their input was long enough. However, if the length of our input is too short. This is going to be the code that's executed instead, and we're going to tell the user it's invalid in the form of a message box. After the if statement, regardless of the result, we're going to get our text box and remove all the text in it. With all of that, save your work and hit play. So we're going to do hello and hit validate, and it says valid input because hello is greater than or equal to five characters. Let's do help. And it's invalid because it's less than five characters long. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C-sharp tutorials. Thanks for watching.